downloading the DeepSea controller software. Step one is to go to www.deepseaplc.com. At this website, click on the DSE Genset module in green on the left-hand side. This will take you to the screen to be able to download product software and user manuals. The first thing to do when entering the module is to register. In the upper right-hand corner of the screen, you will see a link to register. Click on the link and a page will appear requesting you to complete all your information. It will take you through steps one through seven. It will use your email address as your login ID and once that is complete, you will create a unique password for yourself. Having completed registration, you can then go to the upper right hand corner again to log in. To log in, enter your user ID, which is your email address, and your unique password. The password is case sensitive. After entering, click log in. Once logged in, you will have access to all Deep Sea Electronic software. It is a free website with no fee for registering. Having logged in, select Support, the fourth tab from the top right. Clicking on Support will bring up a screen with the title Get the Software You Need from DSE. A list of links will appear to the right of the bar titled Support. Click on the link titled Product Software. A drop-down menu will appear listing all the products available for selection. We recommend you select software 3XXX, 7XXX, and 8XXX. Check where it says Install Manuals. Select the module you would like to download. For this example, we are selecting the DSE 7310. After selecting, click the Submit button. Clicking Submit will bring up a couple of links for the DSE 7310 Auto Start controllers. The first link is a configuration suite, which you should click on to install the software on your computer desktop. If you do not already have Microsoft.NET installed on your computer, it will prompt you to download the Microsoft.NET application, which will allow you to interface with the various controllers. Once you have the software installed on your computer, you will have to come back to this page periodically to update your software. After installing Microsoft.NET, you will have to go back to the configuration suite installer. During downloading Configuration Suite, select models 3XXX, 7XXX, and 8XXX. On returning to the software page, it will prompt you to download updates, which will be done automatically on accepting update. Once you have the software installed on your computer, you will have the ability to work with it. To work with the software, you will need to connect to a panel via a standard USB A to B printer cable. Once you're connected to the panel, Click on the icon Read From Module in the left-hand top navigation bar. This will read the program in the module you're working with. The left-hand menu details all the parameters that are programmed into the 7310 controller you have selected. Once you have read from the module, you can save that configuration by clicking File and Saving As by giving a date reference so that you can always return to the original configuration or have it for future reference. Give it a unique name when you save it with a serial number and date. Once you have saved the file, you can begin making changes to it. This program will allow you to make changes to engine parameters, but you will not be able to make changes to the parameters within the ECU. Changing the engine parameters will enable the engine to be shut down when outside the parameters of the ECU, but only the engine OEM can reprogram the ECU unit. You do have control of your generator volts, current, and frequency parameters as indicated here by selecting Generator on the left-hand menu that brings up all the generator settings available. For example, when you click on Generator Options, you can convert a generator from single phase to three phase. By clicking on Generator Voltage Alarms, you can change under voltage, over voltage, and nominal voltage readings. By clicking on Generator Frequency, you can change your frequency alarm and by clicking on generator current, you can change your amperage current alarm. As shown on the left-hand menu, you have the capability of up to three alternative configurations. In high-power units equipped with a three-position voltage selector switch, we will be using the alternative dimension configurations, as well as configuration one and configuration two. When you go into one of the configurations again, you will have access to generator and engine parameters. Once you have made the changes in the selected configuration, you save that configuration and click on the button to the left of the Read From Module icon called Write to Module as indicated. When you click the Write to Module, it will display a screen saying it is writing to the module. It will then give you a dialog box to click OK. Once you have configured, you are ready to begin operation of the machine by clicking on the lower section of the left-hand menu as indicated. The software enables you to operate the machine with your laptop computer 
and to give it a unique identity in the configuration suite as displayed. In the left-hand lower data menu, there is also a mimic button to select as shown. Check to ensure the module and computer are connected by looking at the bottom left-hand corner to see if the red wire and black plugs are connected. If not connected, connect as indicated to the right of the read from module icon. This mimic screen mirrors the front of the control panel. This gives you the option to start and stop the machine from your computer. On units equipped with a motorized breaker, it will give you the option to open and close your breaker. In the left-hand menu below the mimic screen option, it gives you the digital output parameters being monitored, the input or outputs being monitored by the controller, and the generator frequency and voltages. It also gives you on a separate screen, headed power, watts, VA, VAR, power factor, and accumulated power. From the left-hand menu, you can actively monitor your engine parameters, as read from the ECU. Selecting from the left-hand menu alarms will display alarms for shutdown, warning, electrical trip, and engine. The status of the machine can be selected from the left-hand menu. Below status, you can select event log, and the event log will store up to 250 events. As the event log reaches 250 events, the oldest event will drop off. Events can be anything from a startup to a shutdown to an emergency stop, ECU shutdown, or a voltage under or over situation. All will be displayed in a simple Excel file. If needed, you can export the event log to your laptop and save it for future use. The event log reads directly from the engine ECU. If there is an ECU fault in the machine, the event log will give you the ECU readout and fault code to reference back to. Event logs are programmed into units fitted with a DeepC7310 and 8610 controller. DeepC controllers 702 and 3110 do not have event logs programmed into them. From the left-hand menu maintenance item, the machine can be programmed with maintenance alarms. They are programmed into the configuration suite and reset in the stator module down below. Downloading the Team Viewer Remote Module. The next software to install is Remote Diagnostics, as long as both parties have internet access. The program is TeamViewer and can be accessed by going to www.teamviewer.com. Click on Download for private use. Click on Run. It will bring up a dialog box and say, how do you want to proceed? Click on Install. It will then ask how you wish to use it. Click on Personal, Non-Commercial Use. Then click on Accept and Finish, as indicated, and it will install the program on your computer. Once installed on your computer, click on the file and it will bring up a screen as shown. The screen will show your unique ID and password. In order to connect, you will need to give HiPower the partner ID number as indicated. You will then need to give HiPower your unique password. Each time you open the TeamViewer application, it will give you a new password for security. Once we have that, we will link directly to your laptop or computer you are using, and we will be able to see your screen as it is displayed. So, if you're connected to a DSE electronic panel, we can see exactly the live data you're viewing. We have the ability to control the machine remotely to look for any trouble and help you diagnose the issue you are having.